The sun is out, the guns are out, and Game Pass is truly flexing with a trio of day one additions that are on the way this month. So why don't we take a good proper look at all of the new arrivals that are still to come in July. Now, there's not just one, but two major new games that are coming straight to Game Pass on the 18th, and you might want to set some reminders on your phone to make sure that you do actually go out and enjoy the sunshine at some point. Yeah, remember the sun? Big fiery thing in the sky? Yeah, that guy. Anyway, forget about that geezer for a bit, let's talk about Dungeons of Hinterberg. Now, Persona fans are going to be all over the way that this game mixes gentle social simming with action-packed combat, although here the battles are actually real-time rather than turn-based, and the scenery has a bit more of an alpine feel with a unique cell-shaded look. From solving puzzles and battering monsters and hitting the slopes, there is just so much to do in Dungeons of Hinterberg, and thanks to its rich cast of characters and cozy vibes, lovely. There's also so much fun to be had when you're not really doing anything at all. And if this game does look like your cup of tea and you want to learn more about it, I actually had the chance to chat to the creators of Dungeons of Hinterberg, Microbird, at Badgestein in Austria, which honestly was one of the most stunning places that I've ever seen, and it was the real-life inspiration behind the town of Hinterberg. It was a really eye-opening trip where I got to see some behind-the-scenes footage of how the game was made. And if you want to learn more about it, click that video right up there in the top right corner. Now, the second part of the 18th of July's double whammy is the truly epic looking action RPG, Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. It's a game that's guaranteed to have you yelling, oh my gods. I mean, this fantasy adventure has the player fighting for humanity's survival against a group of very angry deities and their undead armies. And to do that, you're going to have to move fast. And I mean fast. I mean, look at this gameplay. You're just threading together these rapid combos using melee, magic, and as much gunpowder as you can get your hands on. Flintlock looks like the ideal game for players who want to get a little bit more slash happy than a traditional Souls game, and it promises some amazing boss battles as well with 4K 60fps visuals on the Xbox Series X. Plus, the bad guys are literal gods. Also, bonus points to these guys for having a hell of a trailer. Come on then, fight me and die! Now let's say that you somehow managed to recover from that one-two punch of day one releases. Well, Game Pass is going to hit you with another brand new title the very next day with Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess set to arrive on the 19th of July. And this game is absolutely gorgeous. It draws from Japanese culture to deliver a tale of demons and dancerly sword fighters, but it also combines strategy and action gaming in a really interesting way that I've never really encountered before, which allows the player to put the bad guys to the sword directly at night while also organizing their villagers defenses during the day as well as just commanding other fighters on the battlefield. I do love a game that has a bit of a duality aspect to its mechanics. I mean, I think to games like Cult of the Lamb, and I absolutely love that one, so I'm sure this is going to be no different. But what makes this game extra exciting is that Capcom's new game is collaborating with one of its most beloved titles, as players will get the chance to unlock items and weapons from the ultimate cult classic, Okami. So there you go, a pretty rich feast of new releases that we're getting this month. Which one are you going to be digging into first? Let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.